All right, what is up guys? Simon from BrandBiz.com. Uh, like I said in the last video, during the summertime, I have a lot of stuff to do, and I'm sure you guys do as well. Well, I finally found some time to reorganize my workshop, and I also built a wall-mounted workbench, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. Uh, now, I'm still learning this YouTube thing, so of course I didn't film everything, but I do have pictures, and I'll explain as much as I can uh, how you can recreate this build, but I'll try to do better in the future. So let's go check that out. All right, so as you can see from those before clips, uh, I had a bunch of different height and size workbenches all over the place, and that made it so that uh, I was not using the space available in my workshop to its maximum. Uh, also, I didn't have a great system to store all my materials. Uh, so the first thing I did was moving and dedicating the two big shelving units that I already had. Uh, one would be for the materials, and the other one would be for day-to-day -day household stuff. Now, also, each shelves have their own purpose. Uh, one is for wood, another one is for plastic, one for metal, and so on. So it would be easy for me to find what I needed. So with that done, I then started building a wall-mounted workbench that would span the whole back wall of my workshop and some of the side wall. Uh, I still wanted to use my various tool chests and cabinets that I already had and put them under this new workbench. So I measured the height of each one and found the highest one of the bunch and that would become the height of my workbench. So as you can see here in this picture, I started by mounting some two by six and attaching them to the studs with screws. And I then attached to that some two by fours uh, to create the top of the workbench. Um, once the top was all created like this way, I added some support legs here and there to support the weight of it. And now remember that I'm gonna be using the cabinets to actually fit under this workbench and they will also add support for the weight. Now to attach everything, I've used the pocket screws since I already had a pocket jig, the uh, Craig pocket jig as you can see here, uh, and also some two x four galvanized support brackets for the corner. Now for the top, I've used some uh, 5 8 MDF board, very cheap. Uh, cut to size and I put some hardboard on top of that which will serve as a sacrificial uh, surface and can be replaced in the future if it ever gets damaged. Uh, both are attached with simple countersunk uh, screws. Now as you can see here I'm using the various tool chests and cabinets uh, that I already had to fit under this new workbench. For the ones that aren't tall enough to reach a workbench I just put some blocking on top of them so they would support the weight. And that's it. So as you can see, this is the finished uh, workbench with all my tools on it. Uh, some of these tools are really heavy, like the uh, lathe and the mini mill, uh, but I don't see any flexing since everything is well supported uh, by the cabinets and by some uh, legs as well. Uh, this whole thing cost me around 100 bucks. that's Canadian, uh, for the lumber and screws, and it fits my space perfectly. Uh, also, since I designed this with the cabinets and tool chests that I already had to fit under, everything is very neat and my OCD is very happy. OCD, OCD, OCD. Now, I don't have plans for this build because it's custom to my space, uh, but hopefully uh, by watching this video, you'll get some uh, tips on how to build something like this for your own shop. Thanks again for watching, and as always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.